well, for both parties, let's start with Brian Cashman in New York. They need left-handed hitting. He's been on a multi-year search for a good one. He's found one in Rizzo. 32 home runs last year, utilizing that short porch in right field. Why not do it again for a couple more years? So it really makes sense, especially if Aaron Judge returns. Now you've got Rizzo in between Stanton, Judge, and that very heavily dominated right-handed lineup. Now for Rizzo, he gets a little bit more security, a chance to hit without the shift, and a chance also to go back in the free agent market in a couple years if his numbers continue to skyrocket. So this is a good fit for both parties. Rizzo's guaranteed some home runs in that park, and Cashman's guaranteed some good left-handed hitting. Rizzo acquired from the Cubs at the trade deadline in 2021. Rizzo returned to New York for the 2022 season on a $32 million deal, which included an opt-out after the first year. He became a free agent after opting out of the second year. Hit 32 home runs for the fourth time in his career. He's never hit more. 75 RBI in 130 games, despite a batting average of 224. Yankees managing general partner Hal Steinbrenner, meanwhile, wants to leave no doubt about where he stands on the future of Aaron Judge, quote, I've absolutely conveyed that I want him to be a Yankee for the rest of his life. Steinbrenner speaking at the baseball owners meetings in New York on Tuesday, quote, no doubt about that. He knows that. Yankees general manager Brian Cashman. Yeah, he checks all the boxes, you know, the box of, you know, does he help you win games on the field first and foremost? And then, you know, will he do so moving forward? There's no guarantee in terms of health in any situations, you know, but when you make these commitments on players, you know, it, uh, he's a fan favorite. He interacts with our fans extremely well. Uh, he's respected within that clubhouse. Goes about his business as, as, as good as you possibly can, you know, and is an elite performer and one of the game's best, if not the best player. And so uh, with all that being said, you know, it, you know, those are the type that you want to retain and, and have and and uh, as long as you possibly can. And, um, and, you know, it involves a lot of different categories. You know, you, you want to, you want a team that can compete for a championship and ultimately win a championship. Um, player like him would help you do that um, as we move forward. Uh, also, he's going to drive, as George Steinmer would say, fannies in the seats. People want to go watch that guy play. And, uh, they, you know, you, you want to put great teams out on the field that they want to go, they, they want to come here to watch compete for wins. Uh, but certain individual players transcend the team and, and, uh, and, you know, everything stops when they're at the bat or if they have the ball in their hand. And, and so he's one of those type talents. So, uh, so ultimately how Steinbrenner, you know, you know, will collect all information, you know, from the industry standpoint, you know, where people are in free agency, things can get pretty crazy. And, um, uh, and then obviously factor in, you know, with everything else, you know, that, that are non-baseball related, whether it's, you know, you know, obviously what drives our fan base and showing up and supporting us and, you know, he wants to make them happy, you know, um, and he's always been driven that way is to try to, to make our fans happy. And so uh, hopefully, you know, we'll have some positive conversations that lead to, to the outcome that we want, you know, but uh, we'll see. Judge has stated in the past his preference is to remain with the Yankees. Hal Steinbrenner believes that's still the case. Judge did turn down the offer from New York prior to opening day this past season, which would have paid him over $213 million through 2029. He responded, of course, with the best season of his career, including 62 home runs. We'll find out if he's the MVP coming up on Thursday when baseball makes the announcements. As for manager of the year, that was announced Tuesday, and it the National League award goes to the Mets, Buck Showalter. He becomes just the third person to take the prize four times and the first to do it with four different franchises. Showalter, the first Mets manager to win the award, which has been presented since 1983. He beats out Dodger skipper Dave Roberts, who finished second. In the American League, it's Cleveland manager Terry Francona, who gets manager of the year honors for the third time in his career. 17 first place votes as he uh, wins his third manager of the year sports center all night espn radio wondering what the yankees will be doing with aaron judge big signing perhaps in the offing speaking of signings the dallas cowboys still looking at a high profile wide receiver when they took on the packers in week 10 there was a chant that owner and general manager jerry jones heard from the fans obj so why haven't the cowboys signed odell beckham jr yet in this particular case, start by asking, why is it that you're able to sign him? Ask that question. Why? Well, because he's not on the team at this time of year. A 
player of that caliber, uh, uh, that's rare. Trading, trading so well. It is because we're dealing with dealing with a situation where he's free and but free, but potentially very capable of helping a team right now win and play and him play at a high level. But that'll tell you alone, it is a rare, rarefied set of circumstances, and those are uh, don't just happen or uh, this wouldn't be possible. Cowboys are 6-3 and three coming off the loss to the Packers this past weekend. Dak Prescott back in charge of the offense. ESPN analyst Marcus Spears. The bottom line is this, man, and this is my frustration, right? Because we have so much conversation about Dak, and we have so much conversation about what he is and what he isn't. Dak's a good quarterback. Mm -hmm. Nobody has ever said Dak is elite. Nobody ever said he's great. But Kellen Moore puts him, I believe, in bad situations. And I think Kellen Moore thinks that he needs to rely on Dak's arm when it when, when it really gets tight. They ran the ball six times yeah, mm -hmm. with a 14-point lead right. against the Green Bay Packers. Now, I don't care who you are. That's still Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. over there. And if you continue to give him the ball back over and over again, eventually it's going to get you. That monster going to catch you yeah. at some point. So I, I think a, a lot of the energy should go towards Dak. The two interceptions absolutely put this team in a bad way. We saw defensively them giving up yards. But when I get to Kellen Moore, I stood up here with Sage when Cooper Rush was entered into the game after Dak got hurt. And I said he needs to lean into this run game, allow Cooper Rush to make the throws when they're available. This game, six rushes with a 14-point lead. Dallas was averaging 5.5 yards a carry. Yeah, same applies. Run Fowler. the ball. Yeah. Run the football and protect yourself and protect this win. I'm not talking preserve. I'm not talking go stagnant. I'm saying when you lean into the run game, that is where you're effective. Cowboys and Vikings this weekend, Minnesota at 8-1. and one. A little bit of sweating for the number one team. That's next. Sports Center All Night continues as ESPN Radio. Hey, it's Greeny. Wednesday, we'll be busy looking back on the college football rankings and ahead to a great kickoff of the weekend with the Packers and Titans. It's Greeny starting 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. The Black and Gold have done it for Los Angeles. Los Angeles Football Club. Another championship trophy for the City of Champions. Congratulations to LAFC, the home of the 2022 MLS Cup champions, is 710 ESPN. Dear online threats, after all the time we spent together, I'm finally ready to say goodbye. I have to admit, I was careless. At first, I thought maybe you were not so bad. Then, after you moved into my software, I believed I was too weak to stop you. I was wrong. I can do better. So you know what? I have NordVPN now. See you? Never. Everyone can boost their digital confidence with NordVPN. All it takes is one simple click. NordVPN will block online trackers, hide your virtual location, and secure your device from malware-infected files during downloads. It will also detect malicious websites. So catch the Black Friday deal for a one or two year plan at NordVPN.com and get three months for free. NordVPN, cybersecurity built for every day. You'll find great Black Friday deals all month long at Kia of Carson. All your favorite Kias are in stock and on sale, including the hard-to-find hybrids, plug-ins, EVs, and 2023 Kia Tellurides. And all, we have over 600 vehicles available this month, so we're sure to have the perfect one for you. For great deals, a great shopping experience, and a huge inventory of new and Kia-certified pre-owned cars, head to Kia of Carson now. Up to 405 at the Carson exit, online at kiaofcarson.com. Sale ends November 30th. You are never too old for a family. The Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption is dedicated to finding forever families for children who have been waiting in foster care the longest. Learn more at DaveThomasFoundation.org. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting. A Teenager. 
learning the lingo. Today, I'm going to help parents translate teen slang. Now, when a teen says something is on fleek, it's exactly like saying, that's rad. It simply means that something is awesome or cool. Another one is totes. It's exactly like saying, totally, just shorter. As in, I totes love going to the mall with Becca. Another word you might hear is jelly. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will think you're, um, rad just the same. To learn more, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. I spend a lot of time in the garage, but even more time in the rain and mud. In 95, I helped tow your moving trailer. And in 09, it was sparks from me, your chains, dragging behind your truck that accidentally started a wildfire. Spark a change, not a wildfire. Visit SmokeyBear.com. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, son, how are you feeling? Um, uh, I'm fine, Pops. What's on your mind? I just, I can't explain it. When your kid can't find the language, find the lyrics. Start a conversation at SoundItOutTogether.org. Brought to you by Ad Council and Pivotal Ventures. LA's Mega Sports Station. 710 ESPN. Sports Center All Night continues with Jay Reynolds. Sports Center All Night presented by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career path with flexibility and great pay and benefits? Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. Bundle today at Progressive.com. Half hour headlines on Sports Center All Night. Sacramento with a 32-point route of the Brooklyn Nets, and it wasn't even that close. Devils win again on the ice. That's their 10th consecutive victory. Kansas wins its top 10 matchup against Duke. Picked up by Proctor, and oh, he's going to pull for three. It's off the glass, missed it. Filipowski offensive rebound. He goes out to the perimeter, shoots the three, misses it. The horn sounds, and Kansas has won. They seeded an 11-point lead in the first half. They rally in the second half behind Jalen Wilson. Kansas 69, Duke 64, and the defending champs still unbeaten at 3-0. Kansas holds off Duke in the matchup of top 10 teams. Kansas with a 15-5 run over the final four minutes and change of that one for the win in the early game. What a game. Michigan State in double overtime outlasts uh, fourth-ranked Kentucky 86 77. Tom Izzo winning a, his first game over a non conference top five opponent as an unranked team. He had been 0 7 in such games, but it was a double overtime thriller. You heard it here on ESPN Radio. Mark Kestisher and Bob Valvano had the calls of both games. Mark? Jay, thank you very much. Talk about an entertaining Champions Classic from start to finish and maybe an instant classic in our first final. Michigan State, the only team of the four unranked, nearly beat Gonzaga on the aircraft carrier Friday, went double overtime to knock off fourth-ranked Kentucky 86-77. to That was a Michigan State uh, bulldog game. They just would not let the game go. When it looked like Kentucky had many opportunities to really seize control of it, they made every play late. They got two dunks at the end of regulation, and they came to the first overtime by Malik Hall. What terrific plays they were. And then the one off of the special baseline out-of-bounds play they ran was extraordinary. So they deserved that win. But, you know, as, as Tom Izzo said after the game, this is a Kentucky team that's very much – in the making they've had so many guys out that haven't been able to practice they're going to be fine but you got to be encouraged if you're a fan of sparty because almost beat gonzaga beat a very good kentucky team very entertaining game there no question michigan state always schedules hard at the early part of the season you've got to believe it pays off late and an extra bonus they get a win over number four in a neutral site and then the second game saw kansas go up 11 points in the first half against duke You saw the adjustments early second half of the Blue Devils. They took the lead, but behind Jalen Wilson, they roared back and ended up winning the game by five. Yeah, I mean, that's really 
a, a significant sign for Kansas because they got challenged. And I said for the first maybe, what, eight, nine minutes in the second half, mm-hmm. Duke was not only winning, they were dominating. I mean, they were doing everything they wanted. They got any shot they wanted. They were getting great defensive stops. But you got to tip your hat to Wilson. You got to tip your hat to Harris, who was terrific as well. I mean, he was a terrific uh, floor general out there, wound up with 10 assists. And, um, and certainly – uh, Grady Dick was impressive in terms of big plays down the stretch. Man, oh, man, he made a, a great drive. He made a big three-point shot. Uh, we had a lot of star power tonight. You know, if I, we should pick our own uh, all-Champions uh, Classic team. Filipowski would make it for Duke, 14 rebounds, 17 points. I think for Jaylen Kansas, Wilson. Jalen Wilson, was uh, he'd, be, he'd be my MVP. He was a 25-point game with 11 assists. And then in the, uh, in the uh, opening game, uh, Hauser was extraordinary. He was he he was Joey Hauser had a fascinating game. Made his first four baskets were threes, and his last four baskets were twos. And, <laughs> and you know the, who'll be the last one for me? For Kentucky's that? got to be Oscar Sheboy. Oh, yeah. 22, 18, and four blocks. But the key part fouling out in the first overtime yeah. that was critical. Well, and that's why you got to give an honorable mention if you want to look at it that way in that game to uh, Sissoko because he was, he was he played with four fouls forever and didn't foul on himself and able to hold his own in, in the battle against uh, uh, Oscar. So they're, they're going to come up with our own awards here. I like it. Michigan State in double overtime beats Kentucky. Kansas takes out Duke in the second game, 69-64. to 64. For Bob Balvano, I'm Mark Kestisher right here on your home court for college basketball, ESPN Radio. Now we proudly send it back to our pal, <laughs> Jay Reynolds, in the studio. My golfing buddy's right there. Thanks, Mark. Sports Center All Night, ESPN Radio. Three ranked teams, two great games. And in addition, Dick Vitale back courtside for the first one. You back in the groove like riding a bike? Well, yeah, it's, you know, really, this is the best medicine I could have sitting at courtside. I'll tell you one thing, it beats late in the hospital doing chemotherapy, I can guarantee you that. And I'm just having so much fun. The people have been so great, so kind, all day at the hotel. I just can't say thank you, thank you, thank you to so many who encouraged me, inspired me to really battle and to win that battle. Dicky V. Court side for the Michigan State Kentucky Thriller certainly treated to a phenomenal game for his return. Court side, Sports Center All Night ESPN Radio. Meanwhile, in college basketball, top ranked North Carolina in a bit of a test from Gardner Webb. Carolina up seven after this got uncomfortably tight. Davis dribbling out near the timeline, spins away from Nicholas. Penetrating in. Nicholas tries to knock it away from him. Davis able to recover. Pulls up for two and banks it in. Call on Learfield. R.J. Davis, 14 points, 10 rebounds. Caleb Love, 20 points on 7 of 17 shooting. And North Carolina outlast Gardner-Webb, 72 to 66. Ninth consecutive home win against a non-conference unranked opponent. Second-ranked Auburn able to pull away from Winthrop. Auburn right back up the floor in a hurry as well. Green down the lane, pump, shoots, good. Falling down. He's having a night. Yeah, Moving is. the ball, having a great night. 16 on the night for Wendell Green. 80 to 46 Tigers. Wendell Green, 16 points, 10 of which came in the second half. Auburn beats Winthrop 89-65. The call on the Auburn Sports Network. Auburn's 42nd consecutive home win against an unranked non-conference opponent. Sports Center all night. ESPN Radio, the college football playoff committee. Unveiling its latest rankings Tuesday. No changes to the top five. Georgia still number one, followed by Ohio State, Michigan, and TCU at number four. Tennessee still sitting at number five. Number six, an eight and two LSU team. Nine and one USC at number seven. USC, number seven behind the two lost LSU team. But ESPN's Heather Dinnett says, don't write off the Pac-12. What stood out to me is, I, I guess that the Pac-12 still has, I want to say, Six ranked teams that bodes very well for USC that Oregon state popped back in the ranking. Washington is at 17. And I say that because USC can finish its schedule with three straight wins against ranked opponents, UCLA, Notre Dame, and whoever it plays in the PAC 12 conference championship. So while a lot of people and understandably so are looking positively at Tennessee on that bubble spot, it's not a given that they're going to finish in this thing. They should win out. 
Ohio State or Michigan, the loser of that game, is going to drop down, but it's more complicated than that. Tennessee will face high scrutiny in that selection committee meeting room if it is going against a USC team that just did what I said and punctuated it its resume with a conference championship. Tennessee would have to hope that wins against LSU and Alabama are enough to compensate for the lack of a title. Now, the other thing there, Kevin, is that if LSU wins the SEC, that changes the discussion because Tennessee's sitting out there at 11 and one with a win against the SEC champs. Yes. So there's a lot that can still unfold. How much is, of the conversation is going to be about or that learning how close TCU was to Michigan? I think that's a big question because TCU went on the road and beat what was a CFP top 25 team in Texas. Texas has its fourth loss now dropped out of the ranking, understandably so. Uh, but when you look at those two schedules, TCU is number one in ESPN strength of record metric. They're coming off their best defensive performance of the season. If there was a week to make a case for TCU to jump Michigan, this would have been it. They didn't do it. What that means to me is that TCU has little to no margin for error. They have to finish as an undefeated big 12 champion. They certainly cannot lose that Baylor, which has just had a poor season unranked and they cannot lose at home to end the regular season against Iowa state. I think they would lose a battle against USC, Tennessee, you name it. The ESPN's Heather Dennett, earlier with Kevin Winter here on ESPN radio at the top, Georgia TCU bracketing the Playoff rankings at one and four as it stands. They would meet in a national semi. The other two teams are Ohio State and Michigan. Wolverines running back Blake Corum has been there. Lost to Georgia in the semifinals last year. That loss, it was a big loss. Definitely a touching loss. But, you know, we had to learn from it. And I definitely learned from it. You know, and, and what I told my team is just like, we know what it takes to get there. Now it's just about how can we finish? It's all about finishing now. And so, you know, we went back to the drawing board. You know, we became a uh, a, a stronger team, right? Right. We, we became a stronger team in the weight room, on the field, as a brotherhood. And I feel like right now where we're at, you know, we're, we're super strong and I don't think no one can, like, tear us apart when it comes to that brotherhood. And that's the main thing, you know, that brotherhood, playing for one another, you know, going out on that field and, and giving it your all for your teammate to the right and to the left. Um, and I, I think that's what we learned from it, you know, and, uh, you know, like I said, you know, we, we put in a, a great off season, you know, it's been a great year so far. Now it's just about finishing. We have to finish. Michigan is 10 and 0 this season. Has he been impressed with the team thus far? Honestly, you know, I'm not impressed by much just because I know the work that, you know, me and my team put in, you know, from the last loss uh, in the college football playoff last year, you know, we, we set out these goals, you know, it worked our tails off to be in this position, right? And so, you know, I, I'm not impressed just because this is what I expected. You know, I expected this from my team. And I expected this from the coaches. And, you know, when you put in work, you know, you, you know you're going to get good results. And uh, we've got nothing but good results so far this year. And, uh, yeah, I mean, to answer your question, you know, nothing has impressed me just because, you know, that this off season, uh, it was something special. Michigan running back Blake Corum with our Ian Fitzsimmons. Michigan, Illinois is here on ESPN Radio Saturday. Our coverage begins at 1130 Eastern. Also Saturday, Utah and Oregon. Our coverage begins at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. Week 11 of the NFL gets underway Thursday. Packers and Titans. Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers. The latest to come out and say NFL games should be played on grass. He says it's all about player safety, but he's skeptical that there will be any changes. Speaking of quarterbacks, Washington coach Ron Rivera, unsure if a healthy Carson Wentz will get the starting job back with the commanders, ESPN's Jeff Darlington. Here's the deal right now. The convenient coincidence that uh, Carson Wentz might not be ready after all, given the fact that with the finger injury and has not been cleared perhaps we'll make this decision for the commanders but there is no question that they do have a decision to make when Carson Wentz comes back and I want to point towards something that Terry McLaurin the star wide receiver this team said he said it's really big when your quarterback your leader is a guy who's galvanizing the team you can just see it in Heineke's eyes no game is over no drive is dead when he's back there now that's not intended to take a shot at Wentz it's a compliment toward Heineke 
but you can definitely feel from all of the responses out of the commander's locker room that they feel some juice with Taylor Heineke. The stat line's pretty similar. Heineke with more wins than Carson Wentz did through four games, but certainly a decision to be made, perhaps the one that he can push toward next week if Ron Rivera doesn't get Carson Wentz clear in time. Rivera unsure if Wentz will be activated off the injured reserve this week after missing the last four with a fractured finger. Meanwhile, the team's gone three and one with Taylor Heineke, Sports Center All Night, ESPN Radio. Eagles in the division with their first loss this week. They and the Vikings at eight and one on the season. Who is the biggest threat to the Eagles in the NFC? To the guys at PTI. All right, Wilbon. Which team is the biggest threat to the Eagles in the NFC? Tony, I think there could be several of them. Um, and a couple of them right there in the Eagles' own division. The first team I'm thinking is the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, they've got they've got all the necessities to steal a word from Al Campanis to beat anybody in the NFC. And if there was a Vikings Eagles rematch, I might take the Vikings over the Eagles in the rematch, yeah. even if that rematch in the playoffs happened in Philadelphia. But their their threats, the New York Giants, you know, with two losses, the New York Giants are a legitimate threat. And so is the Washington football team. If they continue to play like this and keep Taylor Heineke a quarterback and forget about that other guy, that ex Eagle. So I'm giving you a lot of teams there, Tone, but I, I say the Cowboys yeah. come to mind first. I am not surprised that Philadelphia lost one game and they're going to lose other games. Yes. There is no dominant team in the NFC. There is no dominant team in the AFC. Nope. Buffalo, which we thought was a dominant team, has proven not to be a dominant team. I concede that Dallas is a good team. I believe that by game 15 or 16, San Francisco will be the biggest That's legit. threat That's a good in choice. the NFC. I, I believe that. But am I going to be surprised? If Brady and Rodgers in the last six games of the season lead their teams up the ladder? No, no, I'm not going to be surprised because, again, there's no dominant team and it is a fluid situation. Niners right now are five and four. They play Monday night on ESPN in Arizona against the Cardinals. Straight ahead. Could have chosen anywhere. But guess where the landing is? Sports Center All Night continues at ESPN Radio. Coming up on Wednesday, Pro Football Hall of Fame coach Jimmy Johnson joins us to talk Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys and more on Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max Wednesday morning at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. More Sports Center all night next. What is going on, Laker fans? Alan Sliwa here. Want to introduce something brand new on our YouTube channel, ESPN LA. You got to get on there. You got to subscribe. Lakers Talk Daily. Monday through Friday, we're putting out Lakers content. We're reacting to games. So we're coming up with topics that we think Laker fans are interested in. And we're doing it Monday through Friday, five, five days, days a week, a week. And it's all on ESPN LA. So get out on YouTube. Get on our ESPN LA page. Subscribe to the channel. And, of course, we read off your comments and we get topics specifically for from you transitioning out of the military it's difficult just about everything around you changes i would get phone calls that brothers were dying and some of them to suicide and i'd found myself in another cold cemetery and i started to wonder if i was next it's a struggle to know that you're facing challenges but not be ready to face them sleep doesn't come easy and when it comes, it doesn't last long. You're tired all the time. I didn't reach out for that help, but thank God my wife did. She got me registered for Wounded Warrior Project, talking to somebody that would listen to me and understood my story, helped me realize that it was time to change. There's a new fight, there's a new mission, and that's something I'm eternally grateful for. See how we help warriors combat stigma at woundedwarriorproject.org slash combat stigma. Put a frog in a pot of boiling water and it'll jump right out. But put a frog in a pot of cool water and slowly heat it up, that frog will boil. There's a metaphor for us and all that we go through as veterans. It's a story that rings true. We learn to endure the heat in silence. We apply what we learn to life. The bills, the job, the family. Things we're expected to handle with ease. When life heats up around us, we just try to stay afloat. We let the water boil. 
Reaching out isn't easy, but you've never been interested in easy. You join because you are not afraid of hard work. You are not a frog. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait until the water boils. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov slash reach. That's va.gov slash reach. Brought to you by the United States Department of Veterans Affairs and the Ad Council. Do you worry about how much someone drinks? Do you feel angry or depressed most of the time? Do you feel neglected or unloved? Do you feel that if the drinker loved you, she or he would stop drinking? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you are not alone. Not everyone trapped by alcohol is an alcoholic. Families and friends are suffering too. Al-Anon and Alateen can help. Call 1-866-200-0223 or visit al slash help. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max in the morning. L.A. Sports Talk all day long. 7 ESPN. Sports Center All Night continues with Jay Reynolds. We're taking you to Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max, 6 o'clock Eastern time here on ESPN Radio, Sports Center All Night. Presented by Progressive Insurance. Classes were canceled at Virginia Tuesday. Still no word on whether they'll play their home game this weekend or the game the following weekend at Virginia Tech. ESPN's Mark Schlebaugh. Less than two days after three of his players were shot and killed in a charter bus at a parking garage on campus, University of Virginia football coach Tony Elliott met the media for the first time on Tuesday. Elliott told reporters that he and his staff and counselors had spent much of the past 48 hours trying to help his players cope with the sudden deaths of their teammates. He said that hasn't been easy. Feels like it's a nightmare, to be honest with you. Um, And I'm ready for somebody to pinch me and and wake me up and and say that this didn't happen. There's no, (laughs) you prepare for this job, there's there's no chapter on a situation like this. And so I'm just trying to figure out step by step how to be strong for these young men um and so i'm i'm really relying on my 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 my, my faith the foundation that i have there trying to to use that to inspire me um every minute of the day a fourth virginia football player running back mike hollins underwent a second surgery on tuesday morning hollins was shot in the back and a bullet was lodged in his stomach doctors performed a second surgery to check for internal injuries And a family spokesman told ESPN on Tuesday that the surgery went well, Hollins was taken off a ventilator, and he's expected to make a full recovery. The school says that a decision will be made about the Saturday home football game against number 23, Coastal Carolina, in the coming days. Sports Center All Night ESPN Radio. She could have gone absolutely anywhere, but the number one recruit in women's basketball chooses USC. Juju Watkins grew up about 10 miles from the USC campus and Tuesday signed her letter of intent. My community and my family was was a really, you know, strong force in making this decision. And just to be able to be so close to them and be able to drive home whenever I need to and have the support of my family at my games, I feel like that was the most important thing for me. Juju Watkins choosing USC over South Carolina and Stanford. USC hasn't won a national championship since back-to-back titles in 1983 and 84. Last tournament appearance was 2014. Sports Center All Night ESPN Radio. As for the top sounds from Tuesday, let's turn to Mark Robin. Number five. Hello there, Jay. We're going to get started in the NBA. And it's another one of those jaw-dropping moments from Memphis star Ja Moran on 92.9 ESPN Memphis. At the front of the rim on the drive, center of the lane. He hung in the air, didn't get it right up over the front of the iron. Rebounded by the Grizz, going back the other way. Moran blows by his defender. Oh, he jams with the left hand, switching the ball in midair, and thundered it home. Ja Moran with a highlight reel play right 
break, and the crowd's still buzzing. Number four. On the college court, Michigan State's Malik Hall says, let's make a deal. We'll go second overtime with Kentucky on ESPN Radio. Walker to Hall, three seconds to go. Hall goes in for the slam. He's done it again. A dunk at the end to tie it at 71. Here's a heave from Wheeler, three-quarter court, no good. And Malik Hall into regulation, end of overtime. We are going to a second overtime period. Number three. Back to the association. Luka Doncic leading the Mavs once again on 97-1, the Eagle in Dallas. Good job by George over the screen. Doncic keeps the dribble. Wrap around to Finney Smith. Right to Pullock. Put it on the floor. Back to Finney Smith off his hands. Luka makes the save. Put one on the clock. He hits. Oh, oh, what a bailout by and a timeout by Tyloo. Number two. In New Orleans, Larry Nance Jr. playing like his lanky papa once did on ESPN New Orleans. Najee and McCollum. CJ. Jump feed. Down low. Nance. Punch it down with a right hand. Larry Nance. I mean, their bodies all over the floor. Whoa, baby. Elevation and Aldama said, I am getting out of here. I want no part of it. Number one. Finally, the top sound from Mac Football. A game winner. Talons up for Bowling Green. Listen to Todd Walker from Learfield. Donald steps up. In trouble. Throws downfield. Caught. Inside the 30 to the 20 to the 15 to the 10. It's Teron Keith. He breaks the tackle and scores. Touchdown, BGSU. With nine seconds to go. Teron Keith, are you kidding me? 42-yard touchdown. BGSU. Bowling Green can clinch a spot in the MAC title game with a win against Ohio next week and Buffalo losing one of its last two. How about Live Golf? Can it coexist with the PGA Tour? Maybe. But before there's even a hint of that happening, Rory McIlroy, the world number one golfer, says Live has to replace its chairman and CEO, Greg Norman. Greg needs to go. I think he needs to just exit stage left. And look, he's he's made his mark. But I think now is the right time to to sort of say, look, you've you know you've got this thing off the ground. McElroy speaking to reporters ahead of the DP World Tour Championship in Dubai says there needs to be an adult in the room now. It's Wednesday, November 16th, birthday of former pitcher Dwight Gooden. The former All-Star, two-time World Series champ is 58 today. TCU is number four. No changes at the top of the college football playoff rankings. TCU coach Sonny Dykes is here this morning, 8.30 Eastern time with Key, Jay, and Max. They're next. I'm Jay Reynolds. Back tomorrow with Sports Center All Night. It's ESPN Radio. Coming up next, Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max on ESPN. Every year to make sure my doctor is still in my plan. I called to find a plan with lower copays. I called to see if my zip code has a plan with the benefit that adds money back to my Social Security check. I call every year. Millions of people have called the Medicare coverage helpline. You can too. Get what you deserve. AEP has a deadline, so don't delay. Call now. Call 1-800-428-3067. That's 1-800-428-3067 now. Welcome back to Sports Center from Los Angeles. Did you know that the Pac-12 leads all conferences with six teams in the college football rankings? Top 25. But it's the first four that currently count the most in the reigning champs. Are still with yes, they are. Top four all won this past week, so no change at the top for those in position for the college football playoff. It's Georgia, followed by Ohio State, Michigan, and TCU. Tennessee also remains at number five. LSU up to number six, hoping to become the first two-loss team to make the playoff. All right, from the top teams in the playoff to SportsCenter's top ten plays from Tuesday. Let's go. Number ten. Duke taking on Kansas. Jalen Wilson <laughs> finding Brady Dick on a backdoor cut. Dick, man, he's a fun player to watch. Yeah. Going up and under. Fool the defender. Got more from this game coming up. She's a beauty. That number nine. Utah Valley against Wake Forest. Justin Harmon. Oh! Wow. In your face, and then he gets in his face. That we we like the getting in the face not so much. More well, from this game coming up. Almost got it blocked. Uh, Bowling Green and Toledo at number eight. Matt McDonald. 
to look deep and find Odu Hilaire. The touchdown catch. Look at that catch. Two defenders in the area. Hilaire over the shoulder. Got it. Bowling Green wins 42-35. How do you Odu? Seven. Tennis. Casper Rude. Taylor Fritz. Oh, backhand winner right there. Fritz got the top play, but it was Rude in three. Uh, number six, Nixon Jazz. Jericho Sims. Oh, going biblical on Walker Kessler. <laughs> oh, man. Kessler's like, oh, yeah, it's going to be on Sports Center. All the wrong reasons. <laughs> Clippers, Mavs. The Don. I mean, this guy, there, there are guys you'll pay to watch play. Yeah. Donchitz is definitely absolutely, on Absolutely. Clippers uh, thought they were coming back and pulling out an improbable win in the Dons. Don quieted his own crowd. That's the strength he has. Number four, Duke in Kansas. Dwan Harris with a block. And then Ernest Uday Jr. with a block. Kansas with double blocks and a victory. Grizz and Pelicans. John Morant is still talking. But when you got game like he does, you can talk all you want. All you want also must see tv yes absolutely. and pay to watch exactly switch his hands and throws it down number two caps and panthers off the rebound sam reinhardt batman because he just bats it right in there for the goal panthers win it five two promise you we're going back to wake in utah valley state three seconds left we're tied you know where we're going where Applebee's. Oh, Tyree Applebee. Eating good in the neighborhood. Winner. <laughs> Pacifico is brewed for those who follow their own path. That's living life anchors up. Get Black Friday deals now at Target. Save on the hottest gifts to get ahead this holiday. When the XFL steps on the field, when that time comes, and it is our very first kickoff, the fans and the world will know what our identity is and what our culture is and what we represent and who the faces of the XFL have become. That's it, y'all. DJ, Danny, pushing it all in. Whether they doing it for the players, for the game, or that personal drive, one thing's for sure. These two, they might just have what it takes to make it through this raging fire. If you're going to take big swings, you must be comfortable with big misses. Well, the XFL being the XFL successful. So it's not a risk to me, but it's got to work for the players and that's the thing that keeps me up at night that's the thing that wakes me up in the morning it's for them the experience of going for it it's part of the american lexicon i love that about football better call somebody like me I'm gonna need somebody like me This is Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. When you hear the winning word, text it to 777 triple zeros, and you're entered for a chance to win $2,500 cash. I was just thinking, of, did I ever win anything on the radio? How many times did I try when I was a kid? Free tickets to the uh, Mixmaster Jam concert. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Master Jam. Yeah, right. Not, you couldn't get anything. No. Call in. You used to call in all the time thinking, the summer jam, I'm going to get some tickets. Nothing. Nothing. And Nothing. Just waited, waited on hold for five hours yeah, or just ring well here's my thing you're not calling into a phone line all you gotta do is text triple seven triple zero with the winning word of the hour and that i mean that's your entryway it's, it's so, easier now it's so different now than it was back so here right? anyway. <laughs> Pick up the phone, baby. Pick up the phone. Pick up. Yeah, listen. Text. Text. Triple seven, triple zero. Ten after every hour, you got a winning word on this show. We're giving away 10K a day. 
KJM 10K a day giveaway, $2,500 an hour. Winning word at 10 after the hour, you text in 77000. Text it to 77000. And already we've given away, I guess this is day five, so we've given away 40 Gs, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you is I woke up today, I'm like, damn, today's Wednesday. But then I thought, because I hate Wednesday. Yeah. We're also giving away $10,000 <laughs> on feels- a Wednesday. If there's any day to get you through the week, it's a day that we give away 10K. I feel like Oprah. And you get 2,500 and you get 2,500. She was giving away cars. Yeah, car. All right, yeah. but listen. Uh, yes, I mean, there's levels to it. I feel like a part of a little bit oh, of yeah. Oprah. A little a fraction Oprah. of Oprah. Yeah, mini yeah. Oprah. Yeah. Be a part of Keyshawn J. Willemax Nation on the Dr. Pepper call online. You can call us at 888-SAY-ESPN, 888-729-3776. ESPN Nation is presented by Dr. Pepper. It ain't college football season without the delicious taste of a nice cold Dr. Pepper the one fans deserve. And you, of course, can hear this program and many others on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app, and ESPNU. Morning, guys. What's up, man? What's up? That's right. good, baby. Man, I, I, real quick, though. I've seen the weirdest thing I've never seen in my life before yesterday. So I go to... D.D. Reed? Dwayne Reed. Dwayne Reed. Dwayne Reed. <laughs> D.D. Reed. What, Same thing. I got it. I got you. D.D. Reed's cookie. I got right. you. Yeah. But Dwayne, Dwayne Reed. Reed yeah. So I go to Dwayne Reed. And it's a guy, you know, older gentleman, kind of, he looks at me as, I'm go, and I'm getting the thing. He goes, hey, Keyshawn Johnson, the Jets, you used to play for them ESPN the whole yeah. thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I go get my thing. I go in line. So I'm in a long line. I'm it's probably seven people. There's a lady now that works at the store. She comes down the aisle toward the checkout line, telling the clerk, he just took all the lotion. He just took, he just took soap and lotion. And I'm like, I'm wondering what she's talking about. The guy's walking back to exit out of the building. I've never seen this a day in my life. He has the soap and lotion in the grocery bag. He just leaves. Wait, he didn't pay for it? Nothing. Just ran out with it. Apparently, you can do that. You can go into the store, package up what you want, and leave. They can't stop you. They can't call the police. They can't do anything. All they do is, is take the loss, file it down, and report it, and that's it. The craziest thing I ever wait, seen, man. Wait, wait, wait what? hold on. This goes against the concept get, get, get of stores. Shoplifting? I, I mean, I, I, that's what I thought it was. But it's not shoplifting. If what? Apparently, what makes it different than shoplifting? I don't know. So there's a policy in place. In Dwayne Reed. In Dwayne uh, Reed that well, you cannot stop, do anything. You just let him go out the door. Dude, walk to it. Walk to the back. I think Take now that you've stuff, advertised this, that's the end of Dwayne Reed. Why you well, no, it, it's been happening a lot. Like CVS's and Dwayne Reed's, like they've been locking up. They've been locked. Like the razor of, blades like, and stuff now, everything. They've been locked because they've been getting razor shoplifted blades forever. But I think, I don't know if it's a state rule or whatever. I, I was asking the dude. He was I'm like, hey, nobody chased him. I said, after man, you ain't going to do nothing. I said, we can't, dog. We can't do nothing. It's... But anyway, pull it up. It's the funniest thing I ever seen. Well, listen, the soap and the lotion, it makes right. it got to get clean, and then you need but the lotion. You don't right. understand. He don't casually, be giving, don't he be giving people the wrong in. information. Yeah. He around, casually yeah. walked in and walked out. I'm not giving the wrong information. I'm telling you. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I, I have to go to Dwayne Reed. I'll yeah. be right back. <laughs> They're giving it away. <laughs> I know you're going to look it up. You know I'm going to look it up. I got Google fingers real quick. So, hold on. I have to find it. Go ahead, Max. What does what is going on what with Tyree Kill? Oh, what key? This. What did you do to Tyree this. Kill? This makes me so I happy. Don't do anything to Tyree Kill? I don't know. He's Feels tweeting like at it. you like you did something to him. Feels like it's like it. I, I don't know Tyree Kill from a can of paint. Other than he's a football player. Uh-huh. At Cheetah, it's not even him though. Well, that's Cheetah, Tua, that's right? Tua. Yeah. At oh. Cheetah, why is Keyshawn Johnson on TV? You want to tell him oh, why? My. That- Good. Usually when people ask me that, it's because I'm handsome, obviously. Why are you on TV, Key? Well, it says K-E. Yeah, he, oh, he didn't even spell it. First of all, maybe he's not, maybe he's not talking mean, about you. Well, maybe he's not talking about me. I don't know. But yeah. I think I'm the only Keyshawn. He missed the Y. You could put the Y in there at least. But at least, you know, he knows who I am. Um, well, he put the Ty Hill. You know, he doesn't even do his whole name. Why, so. why, why I'm on TV? Because they wanted me on television. Hey, they he think feels I'm disrespected. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, I've been doing this for a long time. Is he 16 years, 17 years now? Yeah. I think he feels disrespected. So wild. Disrespected how? Yeah, who, who feels disrespected? I think, I think Ty feels disrespected. I believe it. How does Tyreek Hill feel disrespected? I think it's all from just, you know, how you've been coming at the Miami Dolphins. Man, I don't care about no damn Miami Dolphins. But you do, because now you're responding to it. But y'all put it up, so yeah. I'm resp- I can sit here. But when he says, I don't I care about no here, Miami I, Dolphins, yeah. maybe that's part of it. I they can, want you to care. I can sit here and be mute. I, I could, and, no, no, and no, that no, wouldn't no, be a no, good no, show. No, no, no. I, but know, if I, our producers don't put it up, Jay, I wouldn't even have to respond that, to that it. That is accurate. That it's is very fair. accurate. You're just asking why he would probably be 
you know, frustrated. I'm just, you know, then lean no, us not. towards the angle of what's been happening with the Miami they, Dolphins. They're doing and a good job. They yesterday made. we had Amber Wilson on and she said, this is a national story. You said, ah, it's not really. And so I, I feel like there's some themes that are happening. A, a national, make Ty feel a that national way. story is when Tom Brady leaves the New England Patriots and goes to the Tampa Bay Bucks. Mm -hmm. That's a national story. I mean, to the a, the yes. Dolphins are one of those teams with a national following. Yes. Because they were undefeated because of, of uh, Dan Marino. You know, they made a lot of fans at different points. And listen, our own James Steele, he's a Chiefs fan, not because he's from anywhere near there. It's because when he was a kid, Joe Montana ended his career on the Chiefs, went to the AFC Championship game. Sometimes it works that way, right? Dan Marino, especially, I think, in our generation, create a lot. So, so they're all over the well, place. Na national stories, to me, go from east to west. That's national and all in between. Mm -hmm. I don't think the Miami Dolphins are a national story. Really? No, man. Well, it's listen, I, can, can it's, I, can a I, good, it's a good out, story on out. this side of the coast. No, no. But no one on the west coast, I can Key. promise you. No one on the West Coast so, is following the Miami so Dolphins nobody, unless they Dolphin fans. So nobody last year talked about Brian Flores and company but and everything that happened and how it transitioned totally, into Mike McDaniel and then now Tua being a guy in the MVP conversation. Could that's it be? something different, Jay. Brian Flores was a world story, not just a national story. So, it had something to do with him being black, being fired. That had yes, it's totally, totally different. Put them on the map, and it's it's transcendent. It's it's passed through. Well, hold on, hold on one second. The it, could it be something that Key maybe said on a different show? It's not like he is only on this show, but because your name is in this show, because we're on four hours a day, because Tyreek Hill probably listens to the show, right? That's good. He associate, but but you were on first take yesterday, right. Key, yes. and you were asked if you'd put. Himself in the MVP conversation, meaning Tua Tagovailoa, Tyreek's quarterback, and this is what you said: For the last several weeks, he, you know, if you want to argue top five quarterback, yeah, but it's such a small sample size. You need a little bit more for me. I got about seven guys, maybe eight guys, in front of Tua right now, and I and I don't think any coach in America would take Tua over those seven or eight guys. I just I don't see it. Look, you got to give him credit. He has grown on me since the beginning of the season, no question about it. He, is, he has put himself in a serious MVP conversation for this football season. There's no question about that either. But when you are throwing to Tyreek Hill and you are throwing to Jalen Waddle, it does make a difference. Although he has to get him the football, and he's on a really good football team, and they're winning right now. The thing that I want to know, Herman, is you know this as a head coach, is what he's doing portable? Can he go into Baltimore when it's cold? Can he go to Buffalo when it's cold? Or New England when it's cold? Or some of the teams that he may have to see on the road when it's cold? Cincinnati, for instance, and do some of the same things that he's doing in South Beach. Can he do that? And if he can, then, hey, man, you, you're proving me wrong again. I, I don't hear a single thing there that's a hater. I, what I hear is someone who's saying Tua is in the MVP conversation because of his surroundings. That's true. He has a lot of help, but maybe he can do it. Maybe he can prove to you that he is a top five quarterback, but until you see the evidence, which includes not just the first half of the season, but especially the important games later on, portable playoffs, bad weather, et cetera, you're going to reserve judgment. Well, I, well, yeah, so, so well, I wouldn't get bent out of shape about that. But some people, Max, they hear what they want to hear just because that's just what they do. You can't. It that's goes why, deeper that's than why this, why though. That's why I don't really pay attention a lot of times when people say stuff because you hear what you want to hear. <laughs> and not truly what it is. Tyreek, you must have done keys. something to Tyreek at some by point. Way, when, by the way, by when the he way, was a kid, you didn't way. give him an autograph, something. <laughs> Keyshawn Johnson's name has been on a lot of lists as it relates to Miami Dolphin haters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not just a first take comment. This has been an ongoing I've, theme. I've even heard you talk about Tyreek when we were talking again, who's the best receiver again, in the game. And man, I was saying maybe Max, A.J. Brown this year. Max, and Key was like, man, Tyreek. Max, again. They hear what they want to hear, man. Yeah. That's why yeah. I don't get, I don't have rabbit ears like that. Dudes hear what they want to hear. Also, you barely understand how to use social media. That's another well, thing. <laughs> That's hey. the winning word of the hour, Max. The winning word of the hour. Charlie was Kodak. KJ and Max, take a giveaway. The winning word of the hour, in honor of the topic that we just discussed, is cheetah. C H E E T A H. Cheetah. Text, cheetah. That's for you, T Hill. That's the fastest land mammal right there, which is Tyreek Hill. That's the fastest land mammal. Triple seven, triple zero. Triple seven, 
triple zero text cheetah triple seven triple zero to answer for your chance to win we're gonna do it every weekday from now until the end of the show december 7th every hour no purchase necessary ends december 7th 2022 we'll get you 2500 see complete official rules at espnradio.com slash contest okay here's the question will tua make my top five quarterback list a list about play just this year with some recency bias heavier emphasis on what they've done recently I'll let you know that in about 20 minutes. Jerry Jones responds to Stephen A. Smith saying Dak Prescott is the weak link on the Cowboys. But first, this word from my computer career. Friends, if I had my my computer career read here, I would tell you exactly about my computer career. However, that will occur later in the program. Hey, it's Greeny. Wednesday, we'll be busy looking back on the college football rankings and ahead to a great kickoff of the weekend with the Packers and Titans. It's Greeny starting 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. This is Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. I got a load full of paprika, garlic, black pepper, and salt for the all-new bread and free black and chicken sandwich. You, you copy? Copy that. You think others will copy us? Let them try. Introducing the new black and chicken sandwich. No breading, all flavor. I'm back home for the holidays wearing my favorite L.L. Bean flannel. William! That's Carol and Jim and Uncle Fred and Pam. And this is everything. L.L. Bean, be an outsider. Today is a great day to show up for yourself. Let's ride! Why is Ice-T leading our spoon class? That's probably the Honey Nut Cheerios. He found out they can help lower cholesterol. Now he's taking care of his heart in fun new ways. That's what I'm talking about. Research shows people remember commercials with nostalgia. So to help you remember that Liberty Mutual customizes your home insurance, here's one that'll really take you back. Wow. What'd you get, Ryan? It's customized home insurance from Liberty Mutual. What does it do, bud? It customizes our home insurance so we only pay for what we need. And what did you get, Mike? I got a bike. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. The first ever all-electric Chevy Blazer EV. Zero to 60 in under four seconds. And up to 320 miles of range on a full charge. EVs for everyone, everywhere. Chevrolet. Why pay over 100 bucks a month for cable when it's half the cost for Fubo TV? Get all the channels you want, with all the entertainment you love, for the price that cable can't be. Try free at FuboTV.com. When a cold comes on strong, knock it out with Vicks DayQuil Severe. Just one dose starts to relieve nine of your worst cold and flu symptoms to help take you from nine to none. Power through with Vicks DayQuil Severe, the daytime coughing, aching, fever, sore throat, nine to none medicine. Blendjet's Black Friday sale is on now. Save big on the number one gift this holiday season. The Blendjet 2 Portable Blender gives you ice-crushing, big blender power on the go. Throw in your favorite ingredients and blend up a delicious smoothie anytime, anywhere. Blendjet 2 even cleans itself. Just add water, a drop of soap, and blend. Recharge quickly with any USB port. Order now from Blendjet.com and get our best deal ever. Yeah. It's a beautiful time for basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jaylen. A night of dynamic duos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the air, but you're young. Yeah. And championship contenders. Celtics, Hawks, and Warriors, Suns. Tonight on ESPN. NBA on ESPN, son. New Subway Series menu, the greatest sandwich roster ever assembled. Tony the New Outlaws got double pepper jack and juicy steak. Let's get some more analysis on that, Chuck. Mmm, pepper jack. Tender steak. Very insightful, guys. The new Subway Series. What's your pick? That's not great. I can get him today. Stop by America's number one breaks destination today. Introducing Tradicional Cristalino. 
The first time you made a sale online was also the first time you heard of a town named... Dinosaur. We just got an order from Dinosaur Colorado. Right? No Start an easy-to-build, powerful website for free with a partner that always puts you first. GoDaddy. Tools and support for every small business first. <laughs> The critical piece of it. Touchdown! Touchdown! Aaron Jones! How did Green Bay get it done? They kept running the football. Walking off yesterday, if I was the Cowboys, I'd be scared to death right now. I think their coaching staff is just too in love with Dak. My quarterback is not playing good football. That's the truth. Dallas has a problem, and that problem is the run defense. It's always been a problem, and it's still there. Keyshawn J. Willemax, ESPN Radio. Uh, you know, I've done a lot of shows on ESPN through the years. I've been here on and off since 98, y'all. You can't find anything else to do? It pays well. But so, so it beats working for a living, Key. I didn't catch any touchdown passes. No, no, no uh, national player of the year, Jay. This is it. Well, ear hustle is all I got. So I've done around the horn. I've done first take, Sports Nation, like a bunch of different shows. First take, when you say stuff on first take, people a lot of times respond to that. Like, I don't know if Tyreek Hill is responding to what you Are said you still talking about that, on this show or on first take. But I'll I tell you know, something man. that Jerry Jones responded to on first take yesterday. Stephen A said rabbit ears, man. Yeah, yeah. Stephen A said that Dak Prescott was the weak link in Dallas. Jerry Jones responded on 105.3 The Fan. Listen to this the strength that I look at of our chance to win a championship is Dak and his leadership at that position, uh, but his leadership, but because he plays that position, let me say it that way. And so uh, I would not, uh, and he didn't expect me to, I'm sure, but I, I don't think that's accurate. Uh, Dak brings us the separator. Does that mean that Dak's going to win every game or make every comeback or every key situation? Uh, you can answer that one. Of course not. But by the same token, if you were constructing the possibility of competing for a, a Super Bowl, I would start on this team. I would start right there with Dak. He's that integral to us really being able to have the year we want to have. What you think, Key? What else is he going to say, though, right? I mean, he, he, he is right to a point because it's his quarterback. In, in order for you to get to a Super Bowl, be successful, you have to have a quarterback that can do it. And they clearly believe the Dak Prescott's the answer to doing it. I don't think he's the weak link. I think there's a whole lot of other issues going along with Dak, although time is, you know, time is running out. He's got probably, before it really gets hot, probably another year and a half. 18 months, 100%. 18 yeah. months before. Jay, I, I hear that, and I think, Dak is not a weak link. I disagree with that. But when Jerry Jones says he's the strength, put it this way, he's more than enough to win a championship, I believe. You could yeah. win. He's more than he's past the line significantly of a guy, the bare minimum to win a, a Super Bowl. But strength of the team is Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen. We'll see about Justin Herbert's career, but the eyeball test says Justin Herbert. Those guys look like, you know, Lamar Jackson. That's a strength of a team. Dak to me looks like one of the good things you have on the team, but you can't drop him back 35 times and expect to win, right? Is he a strength, a weakness, or neither? He's a guy you win the Super Bowl. I don't look at him as a weakness. I don't look at him as a guy like Patrick Mahomes, but he's a guy that can moderate and organize a game. Yeah, the thing is, they couldn't hear you right there, Jay. Um, Jay said not a strength or a weakness, but a guy you can who can uh, organize a game. Yeah, and, and so I think <clears throat> what, what Jerry was doing was protecting his quarterback, trying to get his, you know, don't want to pile on his quarterback. He understands that time is running out. There's certain things, strengths and weaknesses Dak Prescott has, just like any other quarterback. I think a lot of pressure is placed on him because he plays for the Dallas Cowboys. They gave him a bunch of money, and he hasn't gotten him far in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Is he in the conversation for best player on the team? Or second uh, best player on the team? Yeah, I mean, he, Michael Parsons is the Better best player. Him, yeah. yeah. But you can't, Michael Parsons is not going to lead them to a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So I remember my Defense, freshman so. year of college, 
I couldn't remember a lot of the defensive schemes and I always got hit by screens, right? And it was a common theme throughout my freshman year. And then my sophomore year, I remember one of the first two games, I messed up the scheme again and I got hit by a screen. But my player didn't call out where the screen was coming from, right? So we're in tape session and coach is like, you know, what happened, Coach K? What happened? I said, well, the guy didn't really communicate. He's like, I'm so tired of hearing excuses from you about reasons why you can't get stuff done. I don't care if the guy doesn't communicate. I don't care if the guy does communicate. Don't get hit by a screen again this year. I feel like we're at the point where I am tired of hearing excuses about why Dak Prescott can't do it. Ooh. And guys like Key, who are like, look, monumental player in the league. I hear other players talk about it. It's always a reason why it like, well, well, he needs this, or there's time for that. And it feels like we live in a world of sports. For me, no excuses. After man. a certain amount, Jay, no excuses you anymore. Are preaching. It's time, man. Jay, you, it's time. I understand. Like, in other words, yes, there are details and there are reasons. And if it's one or two seasons, you'll hear them. Okay, maybe. But at a certain point, like Coach K, after over a year of that from you, is like, all right, that's enough I now. It. I get it. So it's he is in year seven. One of them he missed to injury, but still seven years in the league. Seven years in the league, you could work, work out an indentured servitude back in the day in seven years, right? Like, seven years in the league. And and you're on a lot of good teams. I, I get it, Key. I get what I hear where Jay, I feel where Jay is coming from, 100%. And that's why time is running out. It's not there yet. I think a year and a half from now, you know, you really don't have anything else to say other than you you either did it or you didn't mm -hmm. do it. I mean, a lot, a lot of quarterbacks, a lot of people in general, it takes some time for them to hit. And then when they hit, they roll. I mean, everybody can't hit the ground running like Tom Brady. I'm this trying is, to think that of doesn't, a quarterback. It doesn't happen. Everybody can't hit the ground running like Patrick Mahomes. It doesn't happen like that. You, you say, well, Josh Allen, Josh, Josh Allen. What has Josh Allen done? Yeah, but Josh Allen has but been what in, has Josh but, Allen done? But, but Josh Allen has been in the MVP conversation. And, and also got, right, and got the MVP to the Yeah, but too. also got to the AFC championship, right? So yeah. like and also so, kind so, like, of there's a body of work there that is way different than what Dak has gotten to. Yeah, but but the goal is to get to a championship. But when I say what has Josh Allen done, they all on the same level until they get that chip. Nah, he, Josh, he, Allen's on the Josh, Josh Allen had a game against Patrick nah. Mahomes. There are mm -hmm. few regular season games in history that people will remember forever. Even though it wasn't for a title, that playoff game against against the Chiefs last year was that, that's one of the most memorable games I've ever seen. You mean a divisional game? Yeah. Still, it was against the Chiefs. You yeah, know, I understand divisional game. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, one to Kirk Cousins. I'm going to give you my list, uh, my latest list of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. Will Tua make the top five? Just what they did this year. Recency bias. Will he be in the top five? But first, key has this word from O'Reilly. When you need. Auto Parts, O'Reilly.com is just a few clicks away. They offer convenient options for you to get your parts quickly. Order online at O'Reilly.com and pick up for free at the, your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. They'll even bring it to your curbside. You can grab it, whatever the case may be, or choose to have your parts delivered right to your front door free of charge on most orders over $35. Get your order quickly with O'Reilly Auto Parts. Visit O'Reilly dot com today the best who ever did it Deion sanders prime time what's up prime but this, this is my favorite three guys man i, I love you guys differently respectfully and hopefully trust me this is Keyshawn j will and max the american music awards are back sunday I love you guys so much. Performances by today's biggest stars and tributes to music's greatest legends with this year's Icon Award recipient, Lionel Richie. <laughs> the American Music Awards, hosted by Wayne Brady. Live Sunday on ABC and stream next day on Hulu. Hello, Are you kidding me? Is that for me? How? Oh, can't wait to see what you got your mother. <laughs> the BMW Road Home Sales Event. 
on now. Receive a lease loyalty credit of up to $3,250 on select models now through November 30th. I use the wrong pain. We always believed the welcoming spirit was a small town thing. It turns out we were wrong. Wherever Jim Beam is welcome, he'll be welcome too. I got a load full of paprika, garlic, black pepper, and salt for the all-new bread and free black and chicken sandwich. You, you copy? Copy that. You think others will copy us? Let them try. Introducing the new black and chicken sandwich. No breading, all flavor. And Doug. It's nice to unwind after a long week of telling people how Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Shoot. <laughs> Woo! I'm on fire tonight. Yes, Lou, you're a natural. We're not counting that. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. Has your advisor created a portfolio based only on your age and risk tolerance? That's simply not good enough. At Creative Planning, our private wealth managers learn about you first. Don't settle for a standard portfolio. Book your free meeting today at creativeplanning.com. It all started when we showed up in Austin, waving a wazoo flag, trying to get game day to come to Pullman. Then it kind of became an obsession. I'm Tom Pounds, and this is the story of the cougar that wouldn't quit. We flew Old Crimson at every game day. And after 15 years, game day finally came to Washington State. And I lost my mind. Now we keep doing it because game day isn't just a day, it's a lifestyle. Wear by Erin Andrews, my sportswear collection for all women, is now officially licensed with more leagues. Women can support their teams and fashion-forward apparel everywhere, anywhere. Find it at fanatics.com, officially licensed everything. Create amazing work with Fiverr. All you need is your team and a talented freelancer who will lend a hand and seamlessly join your team from just about anywhere. Expand your team with a Fiverr freelancer. Oh, what a good time we will have. You can make it happen again. Voltaire, the joy of movement. Why is money shooting out of your shirt? Oh, I bought it with I bought online. They give me cash back so there's money in everything I buy. Guess that explains the couch then. And the kids' faces. Yep, bought it all with I bought it. In store, online. There's cash back in everything you buy. I'm not here to be divisive on what's going on on this or that. I'm not comparing Jews to blacks. I'm not comparing white to black. I'm not doing that. And it's what, four years in a row, every year he's got to find ways to miss games or create turmoil. When the Brooklyn Nets signed Kyrie Irving in 2019, what they wanted was greatness in a championship, the first for the Burroughs since the 1955 Dodgers. This is for the future. We're here to build. We're not saying we're a championship team right now. We're not going to say this is what it's going to be going forward. But what the Nets got was this. Kyrie, he's done for the season, so it's next year for the Nets with Kyrie and KD. In this. Kyrie Irving, he's been prevented from playing games at the Barclays Center because of New York COVID vaccine mandate. And this. His short-term future, certainly, with the Nets, his long-term future in the NBA is going to be very much in question and very much under siege. What the Nets didn't get was a title or even a whole bunch of wins. With Kyrie Irving, the Nets became dysfunctional despite all the potential for excellence. In his first two seasons as a Net, Irving missed more than half the team's regular season games and Brooklyn won just one playoff series. In his third season, Irving missed 53 more regular season games for personal reasons and because he refused to take the COVID vaccine. Irving was back for the playoffs, but Brooklyn was swept by Boston in the opening round. This was a season that had so much promise, and it all fell apart. Still, the hope remained that with Irving and Kevin Durant, the Nets could do anything, defeat anyone, maybe still win it all. 
But in his fourth season, this season, Irving crossed a new line, tweeting a link to an Amazon listing for a film rife with anti-Semitic tropes. The fact that this has pinned me against the Jewish community, I'm here answering questions of whether or not I'm sorry or not on something I didn't create. Walker turns the corner again. Oh, oh such a slams it again. That could be lights out right there. In spite of the double overtime loss to unranked Michigan State last night, Kentucky star Oscar Shewe showcased his uh, effectiveness on Tuesday when he finished with 22 points and 18 boards in his first game of the season following off-season knee surgery. Okay, Tommy Izzo, I see you putting in work. Jalen Wilson scored a career-high 25 ah. points. Harris dished out a career-best 10 assists. Ah. And uh, someone made... Three crucial baskets in the final two and a half minutes to help the defending national champion Jayhawks rally past number seven, Duke, 69-64. And there were no changes in the top five in the college football playoff selection committee's third ranking on Tuesday night with number one, Georgia, number two, Ohio State, number three, Michigan, and number four, TCU, holding steady as the nation's only remaining undefeated teams, followed by number five, Tennessee. Sports Center is brought to you by O'Reilly. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. They're close, convenient, and known for guaranteed everyday low prices and excellent customer service from professional parts people you can trust. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts today. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. Max's Real Rankings. <laughs> all right. Here are Key's Real Rankings. Today I'm doing it. But Key will get the blame if people don't like it. He's real rankings. Is, right. uh, wait, is Cheetah in your real rankings? Our winning word of the day? Wait, it is our winning word of the day. That's true. C-H-E-E-T-A-H. -E -E yeah. Cheetah. Is, and if you text that to 777 because yeah. every hour, Jay, as you know, we give a winning word. And this hour, the word is Cheetah. If you text that and you win, you got 2500 bucks. And someone new is winning $2,500 every hour of this show through December 7th. But Cheetah's not in. Cheetah, no, because ranking. this is a okay. ranking of quarterbacks, Jay. Uh, One okay, through okay. Kirk Cousins. What, what, Key, why are you so far away? Why are you sitting? You were just sitting here. Why are you sitting there? Switch because I have a white shirt on with a white background, and I wasn't changing clothes. White on white crime. So I got the blue background behind mm -hmm. me, so I don't blend in. Yeah, I stand uh, out. Although I would think you already that stand I would stand out. out anyway. You were pop off the I'm white black background. Yes. And they would see my face and my hands at least. Yeah, you could see my clothes, but I disappear into the background over here. <laughs> well, your body would disappear into the background. It's just your hands and your yeah. face. Chad, I look like I'm in front of green screen right now. <laughs> look at me. It's just, <laughs> hey, how are those clothes moving around? All right, listen, here we go. But I also don't like sitting over here because it just. You didn't like saw the seat down. No, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, because you typically. Lysol. No, we, he, um, Paul sprayed Paul everything. Down. Yeah. Okay. But I'm just, it's all, it doesn't feel right, even though it's the same size. Yeah, desk, I know what you mean. It just feels weird. And I got to turn this way and this way to see you, but usually I've got you both in one, sh all, both in my eye line. But it's all, right. all good. I do like I can see the monitor right here a little better. All right. <laughs> Is Tua a top five quarterback? He says he has more to prove to him still. First half, so, so far, so good. But now he needs to see if it's portable. Can he do it in the playoffs, et cetera? And uh, Tyree Kill blacked out on Key. Why is Key on TV, right? I'm on TV because they pay me. I just and two it seems like, like a top five quarterback to me everybody, right now. Everybody ain't gonna get on. Everybody ain't ain't gonna get on TV. Why? He has a picture of <laughs> Tua Tagovailoa. You know, on his Twitter. Uh, what is that called? Not the handle. The uh, his handle? picture no but what oh, the his picture avatar called? his avatar on twitter you need any advice about social media I, or you're my guy jay instagram nfts or, the yeah, multiverse anything. the multi-universe the internet the, in, the internet yes the virtual so, government at any rate he's very into listen he's rides for his guy tyreek i he like should, that and man. he did from the very beginning with tua why is Keyshawn johnson on tv and he why doesn't like this he's not TV? giving him the flower no, give no, him to his flower. Keyshawn, he said Keyshawn. I'll, hey max said again Keyshawn, 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 before Keyshawn. we move on to your top uh whatever ranking yeah your 10 top, or whatever he's top he's ranked he's real ranked. i want to say it one more time yeah i'm on television because i do a good job and they like me everybody can't be on tv 
Some can't speak. Mm -hmm. Some can't comprehend. Mm -hmm. And some, quite frankly, don't have this look. Mm. Oh, oh, man. Yes. Leave. Hansons. He's allowed. He's allowed to give you a jab if you've been jabbing the Dolphins this whole time. I didn't even mention his name. I just said yeah, some. Yeah, don't hit me with.